Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Libra, let's see what are the messages here for you now. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Libra Spirit, what does Libra need to know now? Okay, Libra, Seven of Swords in Reverse for the first person, Seven of Swords in Reverse, Tower in Reverse and the Three of Pentacles. Second person spirit, five of wands, page of wands, page of swords and the page of cups. Okay, mutual energies, page of wands in reverse, two of cups and the page of pentacles. Bottom of my deck, seven of pentacles in reverse. So somebody doesn't want to waste any more time, energy, effort. I don't want to put in any more effort into this because they feel this connection totally backfired. It wasn't built on stable ground. At least one of you feel it wasn't built on stable ground. It had to crumble sooner or later. Uh, maybe it was a third party situation or, you know, they felt that they were being treated like an option or something. The other person, I think they are spying. They are spying on the other person. They still, I think, want to fight for this connection. In fact, they want to come back with an apology or something. So, well, what's going to happen after that? Your mutual energies. And of course, I'll clarify all these cards for you, Libra. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then I'll clarify the rest. Libra and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now. What would that be? Libra and that person. Alright, let's take a few more from another deck. Libra and that person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay, just a few more Libra from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Libra and that person spirit. All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And Libra, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, Hurting you was not the plan. One day, I believe, we will be together again. If I could turn back time, I would. And I would do it all different. It wasn't you. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. I am a passionate sexual creature in my prime. But thanks to your continual running, I have been left burning up with fire. I can't even talk with anyone else without your energy being all over me. If you want me, then come and take me. Our separation has destroyed me. There are times when I haven't wanted to live. I wondered if you would even notice if I no longer existed. It's so frustrating the way you compare me to others. I'm not like anyone else. My success is not measured by my status or material items. I'm unique, authentic and proud of who I am. Why don't you just see me? my heart and my soul. My feelings for you were deeper than I could ever admit. I wanted you, but I just couldn't express all my feelings to you. I can't imagine being with anyone else but you. I saved all your old texts and I still read them and I think about you a lot. We had a connection that I've never experienced before or after you. I'm only seeking others now in order to help help me to get over you. Alright, so these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, Libra, with your storyline, let's start this reading. But before that, I'm going to take an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be for the viewer of the reading. Because you could be watching, maybe your cross watcher is, right? So a blessing, guidance, advice or a message for the person who's watching the reading. And you get the card of prey. Maybe you need to connect with your spirit guides or something and ask 
for direction. This could also be meaning that somebody is praying for you, Libra. <laughs> okay, cross watcher. Okay, so now let's start the reading. Now be very mindful of your prayers because the angels are listening, they say. Be very mindful of your manifestations at this time. So tell me, person A. So newcomers, remember, first line is person A, second line is person B. You could be either one of them, right? So person A, let's start with you. So person A says, yeah, I don't want to deal with the player. I don't want only a passionate connection. Uh, this person who came into my life, they, they were just playing mind games with me. It was always going to be their way or the highway. And, you know, things didn't work out for me. It was always when, what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted it. So I had to learn to keep my guard up and protect myself. Tower in reverse. Yeah, person A is saying the tower was inevitable. It had to crumble because it was just not the right connection maybe or it was an unfair connection. It was not a balanced connection. So it's like, I don't know. Tower in reverse could be more. Yeah, person B says maybe it was a secret, secret connection or something. I don't know. Person A says, no, it just wasn't working out for me. I'm not going to be made to feel always in lack or made to feel that uh, I, I, I was the abandoned party or, you know, the stagnancy got to me. Something happened here where person A decided, no, this is just not working out. I don't want, I, maybe person A even decided to stop communicating because they felt things are not working out. Person A could be healing themselves right now, maybe, you know, gathering up their own strength and their own courage. Maybe they have uh, anger now or they have trust issues with the other person. So it could be making person A feel, no, I don't want to be part of this dynamic. I need to shut the door on this. I need to pick myself back up. I need to get back my confidence and, you know, go out there and pursue my own, you know, stuff now. So... Person B, what about you? How are you feeling? Five of Wands. What's the Five of Wands? Five of Wands. I think they still are waiting that things, I mean, they are waiting. Yes, Person B is definitely waiting. I think they still want to return. They still want to return. They are hope, hoping that sooner or later you guys will open up back to each other. They can come back and maybe travel to, you know, that person again. Hoping if you guys had a fight or something that can be resolved and peace can be restored into this connection. Uh, they, are, they are spying. They are watching. They are trying to check out social media, ask people, you know, trying to gather information, manifesting this connection back. I think they are hoping that if I, you know, come back with an apology or something, you know, things will get fine. But they're not sure. This person is not sure that a mere apology will work. They know they have to come back with something very, very stable. And till they're not ready to offer that stable new beginning, I think this person is scared to reach out. They know that words are not going to be enough or apology is not going to do it now because they know the other person is now stronger. So, mutual energy is spirit for the first person, the one who is making up their mind that I'm done here. Yeah, person A says, I'm not, I'm not messaging them anymore. I'm done here. Uh, I'm blocking this connection. I'm totally blocking this connection. So, what's the two of cups then, person A? Yeah. Person B says, I don't want to be stuck in a connection which... You know, uh, I'm stuck in a connection, but I'm all the time alone. I need to cut those chains which have been keeping me bound and chained so that I can rebuild elsewhere. Till I don't put a full stop to this connection, I'm not going to find another soulmate and I want a soulmate by my side. I want a new soulmate. I want to start from scratch because they feel that this particular connection had nothing to offer. All they wanted was passion and, you know, fun and all that. But they had nothing to offer me. So person A's could be very confident right now, healing themselves and saying, I need to shut this door and I need to now cut this connection completely so I can make room for a true two of cups to enter my life. Okay, so person B, what do these three cards mean for you then? Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, they are hurting. 
they are hurting they're not sure whether the other person wants to reconcile with them they know that the other person is not messaging them they are worried they are worried that the other person is getting unstuck from them they still feel that this is my two of cups yeah this is my happiness this is the person who makes me happy they are my true blue partner i they are still hoping that things can work out between the two of you they feel it's a temporary pause uh, they know that the other person loved them once and they probably sulking it's just a pause it's just a pause and i can still fight for this connection uh, but they are disappointed they are disappointed that they never invested in the past but they are hoping to come back they are hoping to come back and uh, rectify their mistake so maybe this person has another option or they are stuck in a situation so they could be waiting for the right time feeling very burdened very feeling very overwhelmed so tell me spirit seven of pentacles in reverse overall energy for libra today seven of pentacles in reverse ah uh, this is a uh, person a who says uh, they didn't treat me with respect they had nothing to offer me uh, i don't know whether i even want to give this person a second chance now i am now standing up for myself i'm guarding my energy now i'm protecting myself and yes i am turning my back to this connection i'm not going to keep on putting investment into a situation which will never fructify none of my dreams none of my emotional wishes came true here so i realized that maybe i was the one who was carrying all the baggage while they were sitting standing pretty there taking their time making a decision so that's what i have for you libra till next time then love and light take care namaste